Hello, welcome back to MIT App Inventor Tutorials. I'm Krishna Raghavendran and this is tutorial 5. So in this tutorial, we will learn about the different databases in MIT App Inventor. In this tutorial, we will just concentrate TinyDB. In the next tutorial, we will learn the other databases. So now let's start. I have created a project called databases. So now there's screen one. So if you go here in the storage section and click there, you can see four of these. So these are databases. So we will learn about this TinyDB today. So now let me explain what TinyDB is. TinyDB is used to store something in the mobile. And even if you close the app and open it again, all the data will be there in the TinyDB and it will not go. And even you can also switch off, switch off the mobile and again if you open, the data will be there because of TinyDB. So now we will learn about TinyDB. Let me just explain what are the other databases. CloudDB is to store in the internet. TinyWebDB is also to store in the internet. The difference between both of them is that CloudDB is a private database for our app and TinyWebDB is a shared database. And this file is to store in a TXT format in the mobile. Yes, so now let's learn about TinyDB. So now I'm going to make a profile in which they'll put their profile information and then it will get in, it it will get stored in TinyDB and again if they close and open the app it will be available. So now let's start. So I'm going to add a text box. Two text boxes. Or now, for now, let it be two itself, yeah. So now I am putting two labels. So now I want this label to be here. So I'm going to, the text box should be beside the label. So I'm going to add an horizontal arrangement. If you don't know how, what is horizontal arrangement, please see my before tutorials in which I tell how to design and do the layouts. I'll put center for both of them. Yes, so now I'll change the label text to name. Yes, so now I'm going to make it bold and font size is going to be 18. Now I'm going to so now I'm going to delete this because I can copy and paste this horizontal arrangement. Control C and Control V. Here I will put address. Yes. So now what we are going to do is we are going to bring this a little bit down. So for that we are going to use a label for spacing. Yes, so now it's in the middle. I think we can do a little bit up. Yes. So now we are going to learn how to save these. So we need a button for saving. So it should be in the middle. So for that I'm going to go to the screen properties and then change align horizontal to center yes so now i'll put save font should be bold and 18 and i'll make text color to white and background color to blue yes 
so now we can start coding so this save button is called button 1 this is text box 1 and de text box 2 so now I'm going to go to the blocks so when they click save which is bu button 1 it should yes so now I'm going to bring tiny DB you need to bring call tiny DB one dot store value so when they click save button that is button one it will store a value so we need to give a tag a tag can be anything so now for now I'm going to put name as a tag and I'm going the value to store is going to be text box one dot text because in text box one they will enter the name and now I need to store even the address yes so for this text box 2.txt so when they click save both of them will be saved so is it over no again when they open the app the name and the address should already be filled in these text boxes so for that we need to do when screen one dot initialize i'm sorry not this one screen one dot initialize which means when the screen is loading when they have opened the app it needs to get the value and show it in text box one and text box two so we are going to do set text box one dot text to get value and same for text box two yes so now for text box one which is the name text box we need to get the tag called name make sure you have put the tag name same which is here and here if you put another tag name it will not work because we are only storing in this tag name so after they store it we again get so if value is not there which means that they have downloaded the app downloaded the app and they are using it for the first time so that time they would have not been stored the name so what should you do that time so for that i'm going to put empty string so that the text box will be blank and here also value dog now there is empty and text box 2 is address yes so now our app is ready so we will scan it in the MIT AI2 companion so now I'm going to build because if uh, if I use MIT AI2 companion and close the app it will disconnect so I will build the app so now you need to click here build and pro provide QR code for APK it will scan So now we have the app here so let's enter the name I'll enter my name Krishna and then the address I'm in Chennai so I'm going to put Chennai and let me save so now the data is saved in TinyDB so I will close the app you can see I'm closing and there's the app is not there so now again I'm going to open this databases app. You can see the data has came and it didn't go. And even if you switch off the mobile, the data will be there and it will not get erased.